Hey guys, it's Jean-Claude, and I had a pretty cool idea come to me just earlier today. We're going to have a new series. AOA vs. CODA. So we're going to do this whenever I plan on going to chain-bound events, and you, the viewers, will get to decide which of these two decks I'm going to take with me that night. So, I thought this would be a fun little thing. It would be a quicker video where I don't have to edit out as much. We're just going to show off the decks, and you guys decide in the comments down below which one of these two decks I will play. Rather, you think will give me the greatest odds of winning. So, we have ourselves an AOA deck, and now we have a Coda deck. Let's get each of these open, and then we'll just kind of set them both down, and we'll flip cards at the same exact time. So it's going to be fast once we get it all set up and ready to go. All right, well, at least discuss the houses real quick. So inside of AOA, it's Dis Sanctum and Brobnar, Gore Storm, the champion of plausibility. That's a great name. And inside the AOA deck, I open it the other way. A little bit quicker, not great for storage though. We have Shadows, Brobnar, and Dis. Awesome Popcorn Gunner. <laughs> oh my gosh, just based upon names, I love both of them. Ah, oh, geez, that's hard. I like that they both have Brobnar though, so no matter what I'm playing Brobnar tonight, oh, and Dis, Brobnar and Dis, the only difference being Sanctum and Shadows over here. So let's open these up. And if it is your first time here seeing my channel, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe down below. Take the Archon card, throw it up there. All right, let's open the Coda deck now. All right, so we'll throw that up there. All right, so let's run through these decks one by one. Here's AOA. I'm going to do it real fast. Armageddon Cloak. Radiant Truth. So stun effects. Prince Derek can be some big amber. Oh, Free Markets is big amber. Bear's to Droid does affect our opponent's reaping. The Grey Rider could be pretty good. It's nice control. Smite also is a little bit of control. Sir Marrows, okay, it helps prevent reaping. Shield of Justice can help protect your creatures as you eliminate your opponents. Child of Safeguard is a nice taunt, so if we find creatures that we want to protect, that's good. And a second Child. Blinding Light, another stun effect. I kind of like having both of those in a deck. Oh my gosh! Guys, it's our first time seeing Ortanu's Binding. That means we have Ortanu in here. Let's read what this card is. One Amber in every play, play. Deal two damage to a friendly creature. A note on this card a little bit later. That's interesting. And you always get at least two. So if we see more, that means we have two Ortanus. Let's pull it real slow. Okay, no, it's, it's Ortanu the Chained. Let's read him as well. Seven Power Reap. Return each copy of Ortanu's Binding from your discard pile to your hand. For each one returned this way, deal two damage to a creature with a two damage splash. So... This makes it look like there's kind of a negative to playing these, right? You do get an Amber, but you have to do two damage to one of your creatures. The best play with these cards, have Ortanu out, discard them. Now return them, do four damage to a creature with four damage splash. That's going to eliminate an opponent's board. Don't even worry about the Amber. You get the Amber from Reaping. Just annihilate your opponent's board. It's so good. I love it. Hysteria. That's pretty good for resetting a board. Gone Goozle, make him discard a card. Unlock the gateway, this will destroy boards, very nice. Strek makes him draw less cards. Lash of Broken Dreams, fantastic. Without seeing the other deck, this deck is already pretty strong, so there's a good chance AOA might be the deck we take tonight. Oh, Exhum too. Wow, this could be pretty good with Ortanu, so if they do deal with it, you can get Ortanu back. And a second Exhum. Binding Irons is a nice card. Making your opponent draw less cards is always good. Amber Imp, very cool. Oh, Champion's Challenge is actually pretty good since we do have the Ortanu. Very cool board reset with you having a good chance of having the biggest creature that survives. Barehanded is an artifact kind of control. Screech Bomb, making them lose Amber is nice. Flame Wake Shaman, having play effects that deal damage is actually pretty good. Pound does some damage. Call of Command, very nice. Foozle, excellent. Another Foozle. Calfine can be pretty powerful. Brambo. Once again, those play effects are really good. Oh, a second Brambo. Excellent. And the last card of the deck is 1-2 Punch. Normally you don't have any other cards that can stun, but we did have two Sanctum cards that are helping us stun our opponent's creatures, so that could actually be removal. That's pretty nice. Now we're going on to Coda. Do you even have a chance after we see this AOA deck with Urtanu? Let's find out. Okay, Umbra. Very nice. Being able to steal, do some damage. And a Shadow Self to already protect it. That's awesome. Whoa, another Shadow Self. Dodger's another creature that likes to fight and steal and loves to be protected by Shadow Self. Old Bruno, capturing. Wow, so the Amber Control is already, as expected, through the roof. 
Naughty the Thief also wants to be protected because it can steal. Nexus is pretty good amber control because a lot of them do sacrifice themselves. Special delivery, getting an amber and doing some damage. Seeker needle. Miasma, cool, keep them off the key. Lights out for tempo. Finishing blow so we can have some more steel. It's already quite a bit of steel compared to zero steel in the other deck. All right, oh, succubus, wow. Put this next to a shadow self, your punch drawing less cards. And a second succubus, mm, okay. All right, all right, I didn't think we could top what was going on over here, but this is looking pretty strong. And a shaffles, that's great. An ember imp, oh my gosh, ember imp next to shadow self can sometimes just be game, guys, that's insane. Oh, another ember imp. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Dust imp, okay, getting some amber. Oh, this deck also has Lasher Broken Dreams. Okay, very nice. Dominator Bobble. A second one. That's pretty good. A Pandemonium for a little bit more Amber Control. Hand of Disc for removal. And a big board wipe. Wow, both decks have two big board wipes. They have Lasher Broken Dreams. They also have Artifact Control. It's pretty cool that we opened two decks that kind of have that going on. So I think I'm fine with either one of these decks you guys choose. Now we're on to Brobnar, so a Headhunter can get us some amber while killing creatures. Ganger Chieftain to make it instant. Fire Spitter can take care of those annoying Dusk Witches. Valder. Ooh, that's the end of the Brobnar creatures, but we got Mighty Javelin to do some damage. Take that Smarty Pants is against Logos. Loot the bodies. Hmm, questionable in here unless we get maybe a Coward's End. Follow the leader. Actually, that is a little bit better now because we can't fight with the other houses now to make Loot the Bodies a little bit more profitable. Oh, and there's the Coward's End. That's a combo. And a second Coward's End. Hmm. That might be too many chains, honestly. We have Gateway to this and Two Cowards End. Anger, okay, very nice. And the final card of this deck is Anger. All right, guys, well, decide down below. Tell me which one of these two decks you want me to play. I hope you guys like this style of video where you guys are the ones that influence what deck I'm going to be taking to a tournament because I think it's a kind of a fun idea and you guys might see things that I did not. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos and I will see you next time.